Okay, let's just do my hair. Do you want to do yours? Yeah. <laughs> Sprechen Sie dich? Ja, ich yeah. habe einen großen Dicken. Right, well, um... If that's not a clue, I don't know what it is. No, well, yeah, well, it's not necessarily about penises. No. But what it is about is the latest Budget Bike Battle 6. Is it 6? It is 6, yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah. I know I've only won one, so... I mean, it is 5-1, isn't it? 4-1. 4-1, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. (laughs) Could well be, though. (laughs) Uh, anyway, so um, so welcome to this year's Budget Bike Battle, and we are doing Budget Bike Battle Bavaria. That's right, Groovers. We're setting off from London, and who doesn't want to set off from London? Uh, setting off from London, riding down to Bruges. Yeah, that's going to be our first stop. Yeah. This is a loose plan, obviously, hoping the bikes work, etc., yeah. etc. We know what happens on these trips. Uh, and then Bruges to Nürburgring. Which, I mean, this is going to be a serious test, isn't it? It is going to be a serious test. So the bikes, the categories we're looking at, uh, we need to be comfortable, performance-based, agile, uh, and uh, reliable, because it's going to be quite a um, quite a heft, quite a schlep. Um, and obviously, we, there needs to be some wow factor, because who wants to ride a Munter? Exactly. I mean, we've all done it. But I know. I mean, mainly after four or five pints. Yeah. But, um, uh, and that is a good a good segue, actually, because after the Nürburgring, we'll be heading down to... Where are we going next, Chris? Uh, well, we're going to do we're gonna do Black Forest. Oh, yes, Black Forest, that's it, uh, yeah. For some you know nice road rides and stuff like that. Uh, but the ultimate goal is to head to Oktoberfest, which is a massive beer festival in Munich, which is the, uh, the capital of Bavaria. And uh, we're going to see some sights and sounds along the way and uh, get some big old jugs out of beer. And hopefully and- maybe other jugs, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's safe to say, we both agree, they have to be 90 superbikes. Yes. So the budget is £3,000. Um, and really, I mean, I've, we've done a bit of looking already. It doesn't, it doesn't, you don't get a lot of for three grand. It's, it's, uh, it's quite slim pickings yeah. that isn't absolute sheddery. Yeah. So uh, I, I think that's a fair budget. I mean, and we were like, oh, maybe we'll up the budget, but it's too much, isn't it? Mm. it this is a budget bike battle. So they, they, you know, they will probably be a little bit ropey. Um, but yeah, 90 super bikes. We want to look cool. We want to look fit. And in a sort of, um, I imagine a bit of like a Hasselhoff, Bavarian, German, Euro pop. Lederhosen style. With tashes. Are we doing the tashes? May, may well be with tashes and like a shell suit kind of mm. vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would be, uh, would be pretty yeah. good. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And eat a lot of bratwurst. Yeah, we need to go and uh, start looking at eBay and. Uh, <laughs> this is the best bit. F- Facebook Marketplace. Oh, know, no, no. I, I don't no, know no. Facebook. I'm not getting anywhere near that. No? no? That's where all the best stuff is, isn't it? The best stuff. Is I mean, what do you determine? How do you, how do you define best? Cheap. Cheap. Yeah. Might get lucky. Let's go bargain hunting. What was the, we did that bargain hunt in Germany? In what bargain was, hunt. That's bargain <laughs> hunt. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. We're heading off into the glorious bosom of Die Fadeland, Bavaria, home to 2.9 million people. Bavaria is the largest of the German states, boasting clean air, castles, and is the birthplace of the blue gene and the X-ray. Wow. We shall need to gather our strength by consuming Grosser Bratwurst und Schnitzel, as the daunting challenge of the Nürburgring Neutscherleif awaits our budget bodge jobs. From there, we shall wind our way through the country roads and autobahns to Munich for the 200-year-old, world-famous Oktoberfest for a well-earned beer or two. We cannot wait to experience all the famous German landmarks and sights on our premium-prepped, historic 90s superbikes. Das Budget Bike Battle! The Budget Bike Battle. Right, first stop. eBay Superbike. Wait. I start by doing three grand on the filters. I mean, a K1 would be amazing, but that's 2001, isn't it? So, look at that. Mm. 
That's pretty fucking cool. I mean, a Suzuki has never won a BBB, <laughs> and it's been in every single one pretty much, isn't it? A Suzuki. TL Thousand R. That's not a bad shout. Mm, the Widowmaker. 1999, just in. God, they all just look so rubbish, don't they? How much is that? It's not even a starting bid. How much is that? Four and a half grand. Oh, well. I know, <laughs> but I want it. And that's a 748, you know, God. Oh, 916, 10 grand, 12 grand. Renaissance Racing, what they, they've got? Why is it, why, why is it F750s? That's not a bad shout, actually. Um, um, Yamaha, why? F750R. Oh, we're oh on this the money. is it. This is it. We're on the money. Two grand. Oh. And actually, I loved riding this bike on there on Round Castle Coombe. It, it's not slow. I was like, I was really surprised by it. I was like, actually, this is a really good bike. 1993. That's a bit of a munter, isn't it? What does that say? Nice. Noobs. Nice morph. Nice, oh, I don't know. Neil Mackenzie. Someone, <laughs> someone, I think someone's forged a signature. <laughs> Five grand. It's nicer, isn't it? Well, you have a look for some okay. shit. I don't know. I think, yeah. I think between, I might go for the Yam or the Susie is pretty nice. Mm. I mean, blades are going up in value, they're ridiculous. 900 quid. One and a half grand. Starting bid. Is it starting bid, is it? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. So that's the problem with the early ones. Look, look at that. 4,750 for the original. That's cheap, it's mate. It's beautiful, though, isn't it? That's, well, not, that's, not, not, a round, that's not a round head, round head it one, is. though, is it? No, it's not. No, no it's, it's a Fox. It's 94. I prefer the look of that one, though. Two grand. Oh, that's the best colour as well, that yellow one. Yellow and purple. See, so, yeah, if I was going to get a blade, it'd have to be an earlier one. No, I love that. I, yeah. I really like that. I think that's really nice. Oh, look at that can. Yeah. Look at that. Cute. Mate, look how expensive everything is. What's that one? Two, two, two five. five. Key reg is quite nice. Uh, it's got, see, that's too. <laughs> is that going to smell? No. <laughs> SP1. I mean, you never know. You might find one. Might have been a written off one for three grand. Because fairing and stuff hanging off doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh my dear, look at the state of that. I mean, that is everything. You want to avoid on a motorbike. Whoa, look at oh, that screen! Oh my god! Woo! I want shell suit. Maybe we get RST to make us up some really disgusting leathers as well. <gasps> Thunder Race. Yeah. Mate. If we're talking budget. Well, yeah, I mean, that's. Um, 1400 quid under budget. And it's a dealer. Uh, oh! Oh, stop it. Stop it. You could get a brown one and I could get a pink one and we could do. Pink or stink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. My dad had one of them. That made me fall in love with Superbikes. Do you remember, who made the Benelli Tornado? Benelli. Uh, well, yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but they, they were like, they were oh, two grand at one point. The cheapest one is 11 grand on eBay. Oh, they're all yeah, fucking. No, but that's, they've, they've bought, got bought out. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. Welcome to 1993 slash four. This is my Yamaha YZF 750. And I think nothing screams 90s superbike more than this. I saw it the other day, scrolling through the internet thing, and I was like, shit me, I want one of these puppies. I mean, just look at it. It's got white wing mirrors, like proper, you know when you had like in the early 90s when your Escort had white wing mirrors, anyway. Uh, so um, yeah, it's a pinky, uh, they call this model, obviously because it's pink. 
And I rode one of these, uh, Renaissance Racing, we did a video uh, testing all their old uh, superbikes on track. They do a great service track day where you can ride these old bikes. And this, they had a YZF 750 in the Cadbury's Boost Colours, and that was my bike of the day. It was fantastic, that thing. It was really nice and balanced. It's a Yamaha, it's never going to go wrong, and we're, we're quids in, really. And the best thing about this bike, 2,300 quid. It's kind of won it already, really. I mean, I will also say, just before Al gets here, it looks great on paper and it looks in quite good nick. It's not really. Uh, I think this, uh, unfortunately, may turn into be uh, a little bit of uh, someone's shed uh, has tried to do things like, I've noticed it's had an R1 fork upgrade, which I don't think it's been done correctly. So I think we're gonna might find quite a lot of um, niggles, shall we say. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it looks good and it sounds all right with the uh, classic carbon fiber ART exhaust. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. I mean, this is the brief, fit for purpose. Don't fuck, don't. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he's done it. <laughs> good choice, actually, to be fair, good choice. Well, I will say, I will start by saying, I actually wanted one of those so badly. So badly. I've always wanted one of these bikes. I said, I think when we were shopping, I did mention that my dad had a Genesis, an SZR 1000, and I tell you what, I just, that was the bike that got me into super, super bikes. Um, the 1000, the proper bike. But anyway, what better way to win a budget bike battle than <laughs> mark the 30th anniversary of the Fireblade? I really wanted an original, but I mean, it had to be a Fox Eye because the originals are ridiculous money. I also was looking at the Urban Tigers, but again, they are, there was, there was one for like 2,800 pounds and this guy was, a, he was, uh, you know those eBay chances? It's, it's shocking. You know those eBay, yeah, um, yeah. The, what are they called? Fraudsters. Yeah. Yeah, he was one of them. But anyway, yes, this is a 1995 on an M plate and I paid 2,650 pounds. So yes, I'm behind slightly already, but I genuinely believe the engine's sweet. Um, there are a few issues. The shock is, well, I don't know if you can see that. I mean, I mean it's, that's got some power in it. It's like a, it's like a fake tit. There's no, I can tell you now. There's it's absolutely like a fake tit. there's absolutely no rebound in that at all. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, oh. I think I've only ridden it 20 miles, but I think it's all right. I don't want to I don't want to curse it, but I think it's all right. Like you, I didn't ride it when I bought it. I Which went is to, stupid. It's ridiculous. But it, the only day it was pissing down with rain after all that uh, dry summer we had yeah. it pissed it down with rain and i was like you know what this guy darren from gloucester seemed like a genuine bloke i'm gonna trust him so other than the 20 miles i've done i haven't really had a apart from the shock as well i haven't had a really i'm, I'm done not a bolt check i haven't really done much at all but you know i think so far it's good yeah i, I mean and it's a good bike i've always wanted one of those as an i, I wanted one as a it's a good choice between performance and touring. Like yes. you see a lot of these back in the day. You, you, I'm surprised it doesn't have a Rentec luggage no, rack on it. It, 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 said, <laughs> it, it did. He said, do you want one? I went, that's right, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, you might well need it. Yeah. But they were, they were a comfortable sports tourer, basically. Yeah. I mean, is it a super bike? I suppose it is a super bike as of such. It's a super bike. I mean, it was never this raced. This was the bike that def redefined super bikes in the 90s, mate. Well, I mean, it, it, it wasn't actually in a part of a race series. It wasn't allowed. No, it was wasn't, it? no. No, so kind of, but anyway, I'm, I'm, comp I'm complimenting. I, I, you know, if I didn't go for this, then that would definitely be high up on the list. Mm. I have had a bit of a time to look at this. I did ride it, and to be fair, I didn't even have to go and pick it up. It was dropped off to me, which, you know, is, is always a winner. Is I, that finally going to come back to bite you there? I think it might do. Yeah. But then the first time I rode it, honestly, it, this is fast. I was like, I was surprised. I was like, this is, this is quick. This is really good. Wouldn't go around a corner, a bit worried about that. 
Uh, I then found out that the brakes weren't milled correctly to the R1 caliper. It, it's, it's been a proper cut and shut. And whoever <laughs> did it has done it like so badly that it's, it's proper bad. Anyway, so I got through that, put a new Bridgestone on it. Well, I used Bridgestone and went out and I was like, oh, it's amazing. Had to re-bleed all the brakes, sort it all out. And I was like, this is absolutely, this is going to absolutely smash the Nürburgring. And then went for a top speed run and it just started dying and dying and dying. And it runs, but not past 6,000 RPM. <laughs> so, I mean, I love the bike, it is wicked, but I just hope uh, James can uh, work, work his, his magic. Because I've been on this for three days now and um, trying to figure out, I've had carbs off everything. Um, tank out like this, again, this, it's a classic. This is the perils of cheap bikes on eBay. You know, oh, it's all sorted, mate. Yeah, I've serviced it myself for the last five years. Have you now? Really interesting. Because inside here, they've squirted some horrible anti-corrosion lacquer, basically, is what it is. But what's happened? It's all completely flaked off. I mean, I've got some footage of it. It's disgusting. It's like a bowl of Frosties in the bottom of here. <laughs> I was and, and then when I found out, I was like, that's going to be the problem. Wicked. Went out for a burn. Exactly the same. So uh, credit to the bike that it actually ran with all that shit in it. So... I don't know, I think James is going to have to work his magic, but the actual, the chassis of the bike, the speed, I know it's a fast bike, it's not a, it's not a big problem, whatever it is, it's just going to be one of those things, I think. Um, but, you know, it's certainly, I think, going to provide us some entertainment. Well, this bike is completely standard, other than uh, the radiator. Um, it's, I mean, it's got a few little marks, it's obviously been dropped. Um, there's some sort of scuffing on the original, on the, uh, on the nose fairing. It's got an original can, it's all original. Um, and it's, it's actually quite clean. It was left in uh, this guy's shed apparently for 12 years. The MOT sort of backed that up. So hopefully, you know, it's done 20, sorry, it's done 31,000 miles. Mm. So yeah, it's all right. I've got 39,000. All done at 12,000 RPM probably. Well, this is it. You know, this hasn't been raced, but that might well have been raced. It could well have been, mm. yeah. But um, either way, I've experienced how quick this is, and it, it is quick. Like, it is a good bike, so whatever it is, I'm sure. It's temporary. It's temporary. Class is permanent, form is temporary. So yeah, we're actually on quite a tight schedule for this one. Um, we're due to leave in about three weeks. Normally we've got about two months to, to faff around and make sure the bike, so annoyingly, all my, generally in the past, my bikes have been all right to start with, so I've had loads of time just to paint them and do useless shit to them whereas now I've got to really focus and get this ready now you know what it feels like it's really not very nice no I'm already welcome, to, welcome to my world slightly depressed about it but anyway <laughs> so I need to get this down to JHS and get James the master to have a look at it um, and run it all over but I think in terms of categories you know Nürburgring I think this is going to be fantastic round there uh, it's quite uncomfortable and I think the shock has collapsed so it's kind of it's a bit like this. A bit draggy. Yeah, it's a bit draggy. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what it's going to be like on the long run, but uh, if it's working, I, I think you know we're we're in for a good competition. I love your blue anodized uh, valves. Yeah, and they're facing the wrong way yeah. as well. But it's two thousand three hundred quid, and that's what you get. You pay peanuts, you get monkeys. So for this year and this budget bike battle, we're doing things slightly differently, in the fact that we're it's kind of a bit of a crowdfund project, um, but not really because you know you're all getting something pretty bloody special at the end. Yeah, so I think what we're gonna do this time to raise the funds is we're gonna do a cinema release. So we're gonna hire out a whole cinema, hopefully with the luxury legs, the, the recliners and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Uh, and you can buy tickets on the website now. So it'll be how many, I, th I, I think a cinema holds about 150, probably something like that, maybe 200. So we may do a matinee as well in an evening, but we're gonna do that uh, and that'll probably be I don't know exact times, but it'll probably be January time, I think, after Christmas. Yeah. Probably. Anyway. Don't hold us to that. Yeah, but, but check the website. Because uh, we don't know what's going to happen on these things. It's not like Top Gear, where the whole thing's planned out. We have no idea. So, um, so there's that. So you can go on the website, you can buy the tickets. We'll be there for a and a as well. And it's just going to be a fun night out, basically. Fancy coming to watch the BBB premiere and live Q&A with uncut and non-broadcastable extras on the big screen? Of course you do!
The events will be held in the Southeast, the Southwest, the Midlands, the Northeast, and the Northwest, with exact dates and locations to be confirmed in due course. Thank you so much for all the support and love you give to us. Without you, none of this would be possible, you wonderful and sexy human beings. Check out the link in the description to purchase your place on this spectacular 44T live event of the Sanctuary! <laughs> so check the website out now, there's a link in the description, it's going to tell you what, we don't really know what the price is, I think it's going to be 44 quid, I yeah. think that sounds about right, and um, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll be there, it'll be a fun evening, so uh, limited spaces, so I'd book it quick. Now? I'd book it now, yeah. And you know, it'll be around January time. Obviously, obviously, if you can't make it, there'll be a time period, and then you know, beyond that, um, let us know. Before, if you let us know before like a month, or whatever, we'll be able to sell the space again. But yeah, final details. Final details. It'll all be on the website, mate. <sighs> right? Should we? Um, should we go and ride them? Shall we? I mean, I'm. <sighs> I don't know whether it's dangerous or not. <laughs> well, we've got to ride them at some point. Let's do it. Budget by battle. Good luck, mate. Let battle commence. <laughs> Hang on, turn it on. I haven't turned. Have, oh, yeah. have you heard it? I have to do a wiggle on mine because it won't turn on. Sweet as a nut. Sounds very much like a Honda. Oh. Oh, hey, it's in gear. Is it running on three, mate? No, she's just a bit lumpy. She'll get there. It's only f <laughs> Bavaria, isn't it? It's not far, it's just down the road. Let's do it. That's budget bike battle! The budget bike battle. Coming next on Budget Bike Battle Bavaria. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh what, a, what a jizz pants. Oh, hang on, we've got, we've got major issue here. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, mate, if it makes you feel better, you look amazing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, wait, 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 as in that was, as in go on. <laughs>